Hey guys, how you doing? So I got an email from Xtool telling me that the DS5 uh, has a special update. They've added a function to it, and the function is ECU reset. So let's go over to special functions and let's take a look at what we have so far. And I'm going to scroll through here. And I'm going to let you see the special functions that we have. And that's what we've got. I don't know if this update that we're about to do is going to add a special function here or if it's going to be embedded in particular makes and models of their modules and you have to get to it going into the module. But that's what we've got right now. We do have 38 updates that I need to do to this. And we're going to take a look. I was uh, scrolling down through here and it does have what this one right here, special function control unit. So let me, I'm going to click this black arrow and I thought that that would, there we go. Okay. So all it says is optimize product experience. So let's just go ahead and down that one right now, download rather, and let's go back and let's see if that actually added a special function to the list here. And it did. Control unit reset. So if that's the case, yep. So it did add a special function to the to this scan tool. I don't know. Okay, so this is going to be as of right now, Skoda, which I don't think they're even sold in the United States. But we have Volkswagen, Bentley, Seat. I think Seat is another China brand that's not sold in the United States. Audi, Lamborghini. For those of you that's got Lamborghinis and uh, Volkswagen CV, not sure what Volkswagen CV is compared to just Volkswagen, but uh, it looks like the main ones here that's going to be uh, applicable to people here in the United States is Volkswagen and Audi. Uh, obviously, Bentley oops, and Lamborghini are also sold here in the United States, but I doubt that most people that have those cars are going to have a uh, are going to have oh that's cool are going to have uh, a hundred dollar scan tool that they're going to try to uh, reset the uh, ECUs on but anyway uh, so Volkswagen and Audi is what it looks like it's going to be tailored to at least here in the country I'm going to go ahead and click on Volkswagen we're just going to see if it will let us into anything other than a communication, uh, I hate to say error. Please open the hood for models after model 2019. So here are the models of the Volkswagen, it looks like. That's pretty good pretty good selection. We'll do Audi after this just so that the Volkswagen and Audi people can see what uh what options they have here. I don't think if I clicked on one of these that it would actually let us in since I'm not connected to a car. I think this is pretty much every car. Let me just click on one of these. Go back up to the top of the list. Brazil, Brazil, Jetta. We'll do 2018. Okay, so 
uh, engine electronics, transmission electronics, brake, and airbag. So it looks like the in, it looks like all three of these modules you'll be able to change that. I'm going to go ahead and click the arrow and just see. Yeah, reset the control unit. So let's go back and let's do Audi. And I'll scroll through the list on Audi just to give you an idea. And okay. And I'm just going to scroll. Remaining vehicles for immobilizer online. I'm going to click this 2017. And it looks like it's supported all the way up to 2024. So we'll go ahead and click that 2024. And yeah, it looks like it's the same thing. Engine, transmission, brake, and airbag. So let's just do, we'll do brake. Uh, the ABS reset the controlled unit yeah so reset the controlled unit for the for the break anyway I just wanted to show that uh, they just randomly sent me that email and uh, I thought I'd check it out and see what it uh, entailed and here we are anyway this is the D5 D5S I believe and uh, yeah it's a nice little scan tool for you know, for the price, this is a hard little scan tool to beat. Anyway, I'm going to finish updating this thing and uh, press on. You guys take care.